next one is you've got to make sure you notice your angle is in degrees, not in radians. So again, if we want to convert this, this is in polar form. So we want to convert this to x, y's. So we know x equals r times cosine of theta. So in this example, it's 1.5 times the cosine of negative 20 degrees. And y, let's do a little bit lower, y equals r sine of theta, which is 1.5 times the sine of negative 20 degrees. So I'll just go to my handy dandy calculadora. Just make sure my mode is in degrees, not in radians. And I just do 1.5 times the cosine of negative 20. And I get whatever I round to. Let's just round to the nearest tenth. And then I do 1.5 times the sine of 20 degrees, or negative 20. And I get negative 0.5, negative 0.5. Um, so does that kind of make sense? Think about if you were to graph this. Let's say here's 1 and here's 1. If I go 1.4 down 0.5, that's like right there. Would you guys agree with me? That's that point. Would you guys agree with me? That kind of makes sense, Keith. Does that make sense? That point, right? That's the rectangular point. Does that also look like a roughly the distance of 1.5 from the center with an angle of 20 degrees? Just estimating, guys. Does that look like 1.5 and 20 degrees? Yeah, it does, right? It's not perfect. I'm just saying estimating. Obviously, if you have like 98 degrees, you'd know, uh-oh, I did something wrong. Right? But that looks like everything works. So that's how you do that problem. Uh -huh.